Hello and welcome back fellow RC heli enthusiasts again. This is Tom Cogswell from Horizon Hobby and Spectrum RC here for another video on our 6250 HX 5 wireless flight controller setup series. This is video seven for you that have been watching. And at this point, we assume that you've gone through our past six videos and you've set up your helicopter and you've set up the 6250 HX and everything seems to be functioning well. And you've possibly put a couple of flights in it just to tune it and make sure everything's working properly. And now you wanna take some of the intimidation out of your big helis, like your Fusion 480, like I have here. We can set up a safe function, which means that if you flip the switch or a particular switch of your choosing, it will rewrite the helicopter or hold the helicopter in a manageable attitude. Or you can set up a bailout function, whereas you hit the button on your radio or the switch of your desire. And no matter what attitude, if it's upside down, far away, and on its side, and you just need it to write itself as quickly as possible, you can set it up so you hit the button and the helicopter will write itself within a four degree attitude. Really cool stuff, and we're gonna walk you through it. Once again, we're gonna be using an iX20 for this setup video. These settings that I show you are gonna be the same for an iX12 or a lot of our DX models, like the DX6, the DX9, and so on. So just follow along on our screen here so you can see what settings I have to put into my radio and get some tips and tricks along the way. And then we'll continue by showing you a brief tutorial on how the helicopter reacts when we use these modes. Okay, first up, we need to set up a flight mode in the channel assign menu. So we're gonna go to model setup, which is down here. We're gonna tap on that, and we're gonna go to channel assign. And once we're in channel assign, we want to find an open channel that we want to assign to be the channel that the flight controller listens to for when we flip our flight mode switch. So the flight mode switch, if you guys are familiar and you've been following along so far, is gonna be our B switch on this helicopter. And it's also gonna be our H switch for our hold. So when we go to AUGS2, which is what I'm gonna do, and I select inhibit and I choose flight mode, that second one down, or if you're on a DX model, just click on the INH and scroll over to flight mode. What's gonna happen is it's gonna assign all your flight modes to a particular value and it's gonna output on AUGS2. That's key here. So we can test that to make sure it's working properly and it should by default, but I always recommend going to digital switch setup, the next one down from channel assign and just checking to make sure it's doing what it's supposed to. What we'll do is we'll select the switch. We gotta choose the switch that we want to investigate. We'll hit flight mode and it'll tell us things about the switch here. So when we're in hold, it's gonna be outputting negative 100 through the AUGS2 channel. Likewise with normal, stunt one and stunt two. Good, that's what we wanna see. If it, you don't see negative 100, negative 50, zero, negative 50, it could cause things to be a little off. And we can check on that later on in this video, you'll see what I mean. Next, let's plug in our battery. Because we need to connect to our receiver and our flight controller to start changing a couple settings on the forward programming menu. I'm gonna take my blade holder off and spread my blades apart because my servos are likely going to initialize as soon as I plug in this battery. Do that to prevent any stress on your servos. You don't want them binding up. Always good to be safe like that on your servos. See, like that. All right, our receivers are connected and we're gonna go to the forward programming menu, which is in model adjust. Go to forward programming. And we'll hit throttle cut. And we're gonna go down to setup. And once you're in setup, we're gonna see where it says FM channel. This is where we're gonna choose the output channel that we selected in channel assign. For my scenario, I'm going to choose AUGS2. So I'll tap on or change the inhibit to AUGS2. Just tap on it and move over to AUGS2. Press OK or click. OK, now we have AUGS2 set up. So if we go back to, and you'll see this, we can, we can kind of test out and it should be able to read that output on AUGS2 to tell what mode we're on in our radio. So one way we can test that is if we go to the safe menu here and we tap on stability. So once we're in stability here, you'll notice it says normal because it knows by the selection that we made with AUGS2 and our settings on our transmitter that our AUGS2 channel 
is outputting our flight modes from our radio. So the 6250HX knows when we're in normal, when we're in stunt mode one or two, and also when we're in hold. So at this point, you can select which modes you want to be able to have stability safe on. I'm going to go to normal, and I'm going to change that where it says stability to on. So now when I'm in normal mode, my stability, my safe mode, is turned on. Safe mode will make it so I can't roll the helicopter over or pitch it backwards, and it will make it so when I let go of the sticks, the swash plate will right itself. Likewise, the heli will right itself. It'll go back to a manageable level attitude. You can turn the gain up and down as you desire. 50% is a good starting point, but if you get it up in the air and you see that it starts to kind of oscillate, or you feel like it's not riding as quickly as it should, Go up if it seems like it's sluggish, and go down if it's oscillating. You can also adjust the envelope. The envelope is the amount of degrees, so it's 45 degrees, that the helicopter will allow you to pitch and roll it. 45 is a great place to start. You can turn it up or down if you'd like. And let's say you want to have stability mode on stunt mode one. You can also do that, so I'll turn it on there. And if I want to have it in the hold mode, I can have it on as well. It's up to you, you can play around with it to see what suits your needs the best. Okay, so one thing to note about flight modes is that in different flight modes, things will be assigned to that flight mode. So let's say that you've tuned your aircraft and you've changed some of the proportional integral and derivative gains on your head, like your roll and your pitch. If you assign a flight mode post doing that tuning, when you flip the switch, you'll see that when I go to normal mode, it goes to normal. And when I go to stunt mode, it goes to stunt one. And you'll see if I change my proportional gain, even slightly, just kind of throwing a number out there. And then I flip my stunt mode back to normal. You'll see the proportional follows with that mode. So it saves a different gain for each mode. If you want the helicopter to fly slightly differently in the different modes, or you can keep all the values the same. So if you choose the flight mode, just make sure you keep that in mind. I'm going to go ahead and put that back to my defaults by hitting reset. What it doesn't do is it will not change the degrees per second roll rate or pitch rate, but it will also change, let's say, tail rotor gains as well. So if you have a flight mode set up, essentially it's anything that's going to be underneath the word normal slash stunt mode, stunt two, and hold. So keep that in mind. Okay, so now that we've set up a safe mode, like a stability mode in the normal mode, Let's go ahead and set up a bailout function on our radio. So first step is to go to mixing. That's in the model adjust, so we're gonna go down there. And we're gonna go to mixing. And if you're on a DX radio, just go to mixing. And we're gonna go to the first mix, P mix one. We're gonna select normal. And we're gonna make it a gear to gyro mix. So we're going to choose the first drop down there, or the first selection, the main channel, so to say. We're going to select gear, and we're going to select the next one, the inhibit on the right there, and we're going to make the corresponding channel gyro, G-Y-R. Then before we put in a rate or offset, we're going to change our switch to the button of choice. I'm going to select the I button, switch I, and we're going to make sure that when we are holding the button, and you'll see on the right hand side there, when I press my button, the box will change. So we're going to hold the button, and this is on an IX20, you may not have to do this on, an, on, on a DX radio, but you essentially want to make sure that when you're holding the button, the mix is turning on. And there's other ways to check that as well. But we're going to hit the button, and we're going to select the first rate, the one on the left, and we're gonna turn that up to 125%. Hit okay. Leave the other one at zero, the right rate at zero. And then you're gonna go down to offset. And we're gonna turn that down to negative 100%. I can just slide it down. If you're on a DX radio, once again, just scroll down to negative 100. Should be fairly synonymous. We'll hit okay. And then you'll see, and one way to look at it, since we have the monitor on the left-hand side here, is what it's doing is it's telling the gyro channel, which the flight controller is listening to, to go to 150%.
and that's telling the flight controller to go into the bailout mode. So no matter what mode we're in, it will go into bailout mode. And then once you let go, the swash plate will take a moment and write itself. So let's take a closer look at our swash plate and how it interacts with our different modes. So now that we have safe mode set up, I'll put it in safe, you'll notice that the helicopter has a slight, or the swash plate has a slight lean to it. And that's essentially our attitude trim. And that's because we have it set up like this by default, a little bit of a lean to it, because the tail rotor is actually going to be pushing the helicopter a little bit that way, trying to hold a hover, and it's just physics to kind of make it want to lean a little bit. So it's going to be using that lean to its advantage. But let's say that you put it into safe mode and you find that it wants to drift. All helicopters are a little bit different. It all is something that you'll need to tune. So that's what the attitude trim function is for. We'll tap <clears throat> Before you start playing around with the attitude trim, it is a good idea to go ahead and do a calibration first. So that's in, done in the system setup menu. And then you go to calibrate sensor. So if you need to, if you feel like you've put it into a safe mode and it's wanting to drift in funny directions, do a calibrate sensor first by putting a level on your flight controller, making sure it's in a level attitude and hitting calibrate. And if you still have issues with it wanting to drift, then move on to attitude trim. Or we'll tap on attitude trim. Then you'll see we have roll at 450 there. So that's essentially 45 degrees. And then we have pitch at zero. So if we need to adjust the roll, let's say it is a little too much, it rolls a little hard to the right here, then we can turn that down. And as I'm turning it down, you'll see that my swash plate is starting to adjust with it. I would say take this in very small increments, maybe increments of 10 to 20 degrees, or 10 to 20 points at a time. And if you decide that you've adjusted it all out of whack, there is a reset button to fix that for you. So, go ahead and give it a try at the 450 percentage there. And if you feel like you need to adjust it, you can. And that also goes for the panic mode. And like I said, with pitch, let's say your helicopter wants to lean forward or backward when it's in the safe mode, you can adjust pitch just like you did with the panic or with the roll feature. So if I go forward, you'll see my swash plate is starting to tilt back. And if I go back, you'll see my swash plate is starting to tilt forward. I'll hit reset to go back to zero. One thing you'll notice when you're in panic mode is that you have very little negative pitch. So if I'm holding it like this, and I go down below the half stick, as you can tell there, I have very little negative pitch, if any at all. And the reason for that is, let's say we have our helicopter inverted, and we hit the panic button, and we have our throttle stick down below because our, we are putting in negative pitch to keep some attitude, some altitude onto our helicopter. We don't want the helicopter to push itself into the ground as it's riding itself. So it's automatically built into the algorithm to keep you from putting in negative stick. So hopefully that makes sense to you. And that's what it's gonna look like once you have the safe and panic mode set up. And there you have it. That's how we set up a safe stability mode and a panic bailout mode on our Spectrum Radio with the 6250HX flight controller. Stay tuned to our next video where we'll be going over smart technology and the integration with avian speed controls and the 6250HX for seamless telemetry for the head speed, current, battery percentage, and more. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. See you next time.